Hi, Scott Orling with Cinema Magazine. Okay, you've been laughing with this from season one with the show called Rami. Well, now we're back with season two, and I'm here with Rami Youssef. I, I want to ask you, if you look over the course of history, whether it's film or TV, when we have kind of tackled certain issues, whether it's be it with Catholicism or Judaism or whatever, it's been comedians who have kind of led the charge. And you've kind of opened up the doors for Western culture with Islam. So can you talk about how important this show has been to at least expose people to something they're not familiar with? Um, yeah, I think comedy is kind of the easiest way to talk about anything that's super personal. You, because, you, you, know, you know, I think religion is almost by definition, I think, in how it's presented, like, preachy, right? I mean, it's, it's, it's actually like the act of preaching. Um, and that's not the goal of the show. The goal of the show is like, how do we talk about those things without it um, fitting into that, but feeling real and feeling human? And, and so I think comedy, so much of it is about uh, expectations and failures, right? And and you you know any good comedy is a character who's trying to do something, and we're gonna watch them mess up while they're trying to do it. That's kind of at the core of what makes you laugh. And I think that that's also at the core of being a religious person. Is like you're trying to be good, and you're gonna mess up, and 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 you're kind of struggling with your ego and struggling with um, doing you know what you need to do. And so for me, kind of entering this show, I was kind of like, oh, actually, the core of what I like about comedy is also the core of my struggle with religion and 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 so um in, instead of i think a lot of comedy turns against religion and is very like anti um you know the you know, kind of anti-god you know a punchline is like then we went to church you know like that's a punchline for a lot of comedy but i kind of felt actually the essence of of a comedy and the essence of trying to be good uh were very very in line what's what's funny or what, what leads up to humorous elements is always the intersection of religion and sex Somehow yeah. or another, those two things just don't want to merge and they cause friction. Your show go tackles that as well. Yeah, I mean, they're both very um, personal and spiritual things, right? I mean, like, they're both, they both have a, a lot of intimacy around them and they're both, like, you're, you're kind of naked in both, whether it be sex or whether it be, like, truly, like, giving into your faith. And, 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 I, and I think the, the connection is so strong and, and it's where a lot of, uh, questions of morality arise. And so it feels like the perfect pressure cooker for a show like this. Um, because I think for very religious people, the sex makes them uncomfortable. And for very, you know, people who don't care about, uh, you know, who are just kind of like, oh, sex is great. Religion can make them uncomfortable. And so to be able to like, kind of blend the two, um, again, kind of, I think, puts our characters in a really interesting place. What's interesting, season two, you kind of seeking a new spiritual advisor, and it's Mahershala Ali, great casting. Uh, but I understand when we've talked before, you talk, you have your own spiritual advisor. How important is it to have somebody to talk to? Yeah, it's super important. I mean, like I, you know, I'm someone who uh, it's, it's, you know, my faith is a big part of my life. And, and you know, my character is certainly like not <laughs> is it was more of a reflection of past me than like, you know, current me or, or even I would say like we, we take a lot of liberties to, to, again, highlight that divide that we were just talking about. Um, but for me, yeah, to have someone to talk to, to have someone not only to talk to, cause I look, I have a therapist, that's someone to like, just talk to, but I think with a spiritual advisor, it's really important to, you know, in my life, having a shake, um, do you, I think you need someone when you're looking at religious texts, cause I think like you need someone to kind of like the, the texts are always so much more than the texts. And I think like, if you just picked up the text cold, I, you know, you kind of need, um, you need, you need someone who kind of understands a lot of what's around it, you know? And, and, and I think like theology in general, you kind of like want to understand, well, how do we know what we know? Why do we know that? And, and to do that in a meaningful way, um, it's, it's kind of ridiculous to try and do it alone. Well, we're not going to have to watch the show alone. Hopefully much longer. <laughs> we can share it with friends. Rami is always such a pleasure. Congratulations. Hey. This is Scott. Thanks, Scott. Thanks.